Hello and welcome to Simon Tech Notes. My name is Christian and I'm part of the technical support team here. Today we will be going over how to successfully install XPanel Designer for HMI software. For starters, we're going to make sure that our system is up to date. We're using a Windows machine, so we want to see this status message up here that I'm up to date. So go ahead and check for updates. If you don't have if you need to update, not a huge deal. Go ahead and download them, restart your computer, and then rinse and repeat the steps until you see the status message that you're up to date. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit that because that means that we're good to go in terms of downloading. So when you install the XPanel Designer from our website or for an from an employee of ours, you'll get a zip file that looks something like this. Go ahead and extract that and then you'll have the folder here next to it and you can go ahead and go in there and look at it. So for starters, this is the 64-bit 2008 redistributable software by Microsoft that helps you run the XPanel Designer. And then this is the 32-bit one. So I'm on a 64-bit computer, so I'm going to be running the top one here. But this one is for 32-bit if you have that. And then there's a readme text here to remind you in case you forget. So uh, if you already have this installed on your computer, it'll just ask you to repair the driver. Um, so you're good to go in that aspect. But you'll see that here. Um, it asked me to repair it. Oh, you can go ahead and repair it if you want. That's fine. Um, if you don't have it, make sure that you read the terms and agreement before accepting, and then I'll meet you back at the next step. So you can see here that my setup is complete. I have the prerequisite. I'm good to go. So for XPanel Designer, all you have to do is run the executable file, and then you should be good to go. Um, it's going to do a couple prompts for you. So in the beginning, you're going to see this little window here and it's going to show you the status of your installation go ahead and read the end user license agreement carefully if you don't agree go ahead and exit the downloader if you do agree we can continue on to the next steps i agree and then we're going to go on to the next one make sure you keep it at this folder location you can change it if you want but i recommend keeping it here just because all simon software use utilizes the similar folder, the same folder, the Simon folder. So it's just nice to have everything in one conglomerate file folder location. So you can go ahead and change if you want, but I'm going to continue on. So next, and then it's going to ask me to install the, the install wizard shield. So I'm going to go ahead and install that. You'll see a status increasing for your installation. This process shouldn't take longer than three minutes, a really quick process downloading this HMI free software. And you'll see some t fonts here. So I'll choose all of them. All of these should be on your left side. This must be Kosh from previous downloads. So go ahead and select all. You can add that. Then you have all these beautiful texts that you can use inside your HMI software. Press OK. Finish the installation. Then I should be good to go in terms of XPanel. So I can go over here, type in XPanel. My XPanel designer is right there. Run as administrator if you want to use the simulator. Otherwise, I recommend going to the properties and then telling the, the file that it always needs to be run as administrator. So once you run as administrator, you'll the software will pop up. You don't there is no tutorial project with this. Everything is a blank canvas by default, but there are a beautiful amount of resources in the help file up here that will guide you through how to program your first HMI software program. So that'll be it for today. Thank you so much for joining us on this video and have a wonderful day.